It seemed the only person talking up cellar dweller Port Adelaide's chances against the Hawks at the MCG was Hawthorne coach Alistair Clarkson. But he had little need for concern, with Port coming off a 138-point drubbing. The Hawks were mindful of complacency and swung immediately into gear. Great kick from Cyril Rioli. Rioli would open with a double. And while the intensity was there from Port, they had little answer to the top three sides' big guns. Here he is, buddy, with Hawthorne's third goal firmly on his mind and now on his boot. They were queuing up, dominating inside 50s. Rioli would grab a third, but the injury played Max Bailey's first goal in footy drew the loudest cheer. It's coming back. It'll be a popular goal for the Hawks. It was looking like another very, very long day for Matthew Primus. Cyril Rioli making the most of limitless opportunity. For his fourth goal of the first quarter, he's done it, and we could be in for a feast this afternoon from Cyril. 47 points the margin at quarter time, and the Port backline would remain under siege until Mitch Banner finally opened the account. And the last Port have got a goal. It proved nothing more than a blip on the radar. Comes back to the great man on the left boot, and he puts it through for his third. The eight changes made to the Port lineup from last week soon seemed like nothing more than sharing the pain. Now Riola from 50 metres, he can go bang for his fifth. Not a trouble in the world for the Hawks boss. Little more than a training run out in the middle. Mitchell from 35, around Pierce, onto the left boot, drop punt, goal. 92 points the difference at the main break, Hawthorne's biggest ever half-time lead, and it would continue to grow. Virtual to try and hammer it back over the head of the defenders. I was going to say line ball, but in the end it wasn't. There was one bright spot for the power. Drop punt. Butcher kicks his first goal in AFL football. As Port's coach was possibly considering his future, they would at least eclipse last week's lowest ebb. Schultz, yes! Great contested mark by Schultz. He kicked that. But Lance Franklin was intent on opening a gap in the race for the Coleman. As he's kicked his fifth. He wouldn't be given an armchair ride, but surely not from there. No, no chance, Lloydie. No, no chance. Franklin opens it up for his seventh. <laughs> no chance at all. Not a hope. 112 points the gap heading into the final term and the Hawks would continue to stack them up. Mitchell off to White Cross, left foot snap. Oh. Superb stuff from Brendan Whitecross. Bruce would come on and only add to his super sub reputation. Five measures the kick and kicks his second. He's deadly. A career best six from one of Hawthorne's best. Rioli from the pocket, lines them up and kicks a wonderful <laughs> goal. A duel with Buddy as the margin blew out to 150 points. He kicks his eighth. Even the faithful seemed mesmerised as the procession continued. Puopolo, he can run to 40, measure it, Bateman now in the pocket, right foot, he curls it back, he kicks it! Go to Hawthorne! Hawthorne's largest ever winning margin, 165 points, the difference in the end. Port held scoreless in the final term. David Murdoch, Big Pond Sport.